securitycameraking.com. In this video, I will show you how to configure your DVR to be uh, sending emails every time a motion detection happens. To start, we're going to log in into the DVR. I'm using the web interface, which is actually better to configure this portion. So I will put my internal IP and log into the DVR. There's a few things that we got to do first and make sure that you have them, otherwise the system will not work. Once you log in, you go to config, you got to prefer DNS and make sure that your DNS match the internal DNS on your network. This is my internal DNS and you can use this uh, global DNS IP that I always use for my equipment. Then once it's done, you hit save then you go to network and we go to email. Um, on our webpage support.techprosecurity.com slash forums there is a PDF that I put together so that explains that uh, how to configure the DVR and some of the uh, providers that will work or I have tests and they work on our DVRs to be sending emails. Uh, for this demonstration I will use a uh, Gmail account. So the SMTP server will be smtp.gmail.com The username I will be using a valid username. Make sure that you enable this option and make sure the SSL is enabled. going to put a valid username, a valid password, a sender you can put the same as the username that you're putting in there. The subject is basically what the email will say. Uh, I just leave it that way and here on the receiver you can put up to three emails that you want um, to be receiving emails. I'm going to put myself again for demonstration purposes and then hit save. I'm gonna disable this and then go back again and enable it. Now now that you have this set up, oh by the way the port is 465 I'm sorry, hit save. Then I have to go to detect and configure the DVR to say okay uh, every time that I have motion on channel 1 send me an email and basically you choose the channel you check this box and that's it so now every time that a motion detection happens on channel 1 it will send you an email I go back to network get an email and then enable this option and I recommend you to put this send interval a little bit higher because you're going to be, if you have a lot of motion, you're going to be receiving a lot of emails. So I will put um, 120 seconds and hit save. Make sure when you have all of this done, you can hit the test button. And it should pop up this. And there you go. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.